Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Today we have Mr. Chen, the CEO and co-founder of Cortex. Welcome. So to our audience, could you give a brief introduction about yourself and how you got into the crypto market? Okay. Uh, so um, I'm a um, old Bitcoin miner back <laughs> into 2013. So um, um, I used to mine Bitcoin. And uh, before we start this uh, Cortex lab, I actually have a, a, another company called waterhole.io. It's still under uh, operating. Mm -hmm. It's a mining pool. We are uh, a contribution for Bitcoin Cash, like a 5% of the hash power and 1% of Ethereum and Zcash globally. Mm -hmm. So um, among our three co-founders, um, there's another guy mining Bitcoin from 2011. It's oh. even earlier than me. So we met with each other and we, we talked in 2016, want to have a great and a fancy public chain to mm -hmm. bring AI onto the blockchain. Mm -hmm. So until last year, we met our CTO, then we formed the team mm -hmm. and start this project by the end of 2013. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's uh, you know get listed on Huobi Pro and uh, OK. Oh. So that's the whole story. Of our <laughs> so I mean, you being a old-fashioned like the one who've been mining since 2013, I have to ask yeah. you, how was it back then? How was the mining? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it was pretty easy. It's like uh, you get a one Avalon mining rig, uh, you get. Two point something Bitcoin per day from the <laughs> only one rig, so uh, it's definitely much easier than what is right now. Uh, do you still own a mining system? I mean, personally? Uh, yes, yes. The the my old um, the company Waterhole still own mining rigs. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean the old mining rig? I mean, on your property. I mean, do you still get into mining? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still mining. Mm -hmm. We're still mining. So let's move on to your platform, Cortex. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you explain a little bit about it? Uh, how it works? How it integrates AI into blockchain? Oh uh, yes. So uh, the Cortex idea is uh, pretty simple. We want to bring a AI algorithm onto blockchain. But you know, there are a lot of uh, proposals in the community. What we are doing is pretty unique and classical. We want to preserve the core value of blockchain because mm -hmm. if you want to have a blockchain, you want a transparency. Mm -hmm. You want a, a smart contract touring complete and unstoppable, mm -hmm. and that everything is you know uh, immutable. Im immutable. Yes, yes. So um, basically, you know the AI world now. All the AI model mm -hmm. is owned by big company. Mm -hmm. So big company, centralized company collecting data from users, mm -hmm. and they train their model, and the model is hidden mm -hmm. behind the centralized company. Mm -hmm. So the most valuable thing that we think is the model. Mm -hmm. It's not only the data. The model is very valuable. So we bring the model onto blockchain, and the making the model inference uh, computing mm -hmm. public mm. within smart contract. So that's our philosophy. So the developers using Cortex platform will be able to develop AI-based dApps maybe so that it, the whole program itself will be transparent? Exactly, exactly. So um, the uh, AI functionality is built within smart contract layer. Mm -hmm. So within smart contract, you can call AI model. There is a, a collection of models we call the model zoo. Mm -hmm. Zoo means a lot of animals, yeah. So the model is stored on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. Within your D apps, mm -hmm. you can use a lot of fancy things, uh, which is only available in nowadays. It's not available like five years ago, like in your smart uh, mm -hmm. smartphone devices, like facial recognition. Mm -hmm. uh, those things require a lot of computation and uh, specific hardware mm -hmm. and chips. And we enable that within smart contract layer. So uh, those of us who are not familiar with AI might get confused. So could you give a little bit ex uh, an example on how developers might use your platform and then customers who are using uh, Cortex-based dApps uh, might benefit? Uh, so any okay. examples that you can give? Yes, yes. Let me give you two examples. One example is like the... Uh, 
lending money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, um, if uh, a so you're a lender, uh, it's a, uh, for example, I'm a borrower, you're a lender. Mm -hmm. So uh, you need to take a look at the history of the borrower. Yes. So how he borrow money and uh, how is uh, returning the money, paying back. Credit search. Credit, credit score, it's like that. Now credit score model is hidden behind each bank. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, like same as the insurance, mm -hmm. so the yes. same thing. So on the blockchain, you have uh, um, cryptocurrency addresses mm -hmm. and you have a transaction records, everything properly. Mm -hmm. So the loan can be done automatic, automatically within smart contract mm -hmm. by calculating each score of the addresses. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to uh, to know, you know, who is borrowing your money mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the market will be pretty competitive. Mm -hmm. So within smart contract, you can, you know, lending money, borrowing money. So that's one um, possible usage. Mm -hmm. And to calculate the credit score, mm -hmm. it really requires a lot of computation based on a lot of factors. Mm -hmm. That's one of the AI applications, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, it cannot be done on CPU. Oh. It should be done on GPU or FPGA. Mm -hmm. So uh, another example uh, could be uh, like a self-driving cars. Oh, yes, yes. So each car, you know, self-drive car, is actually an AI model. Yes. So each car have uh, their own, you know, behavior learning from the owner mm -hmm. of the car. And, uh, you know, different preference. Some, someone aggressive, someone is not. And uh, when car on the road in future, self-driving car want to have a transaction between cars mm -hmm. guaranteed by smart contract. Mm -hmm. Because when you are doing some, you know, action, it's going to be uh, guaranteed to be paid. Like if, if, if I'm in a hurry, Mm -hmm. You give me a uh, right to go first, you know, mm -hmm. the yielding, make mm -hmm. a yielding. You make a micro payments. Oh, yes. These things happen within smart contract. Uh -huh. Requires a computation for the image or the short video. Mm -hmm. That's AI computation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this thing could be, you know, one of the applications. Oh, yeah. so uh, do you have a token economy set up for your platform? Uh, token economy, uh, you mean the token distribution? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that uh, users yes. your, of your platform, maybe uh, the developers maybe can pay? Yes, yes. So uh, basically, uh, uh, we are a POW chain. Mm -hmm. So of course, a miner can get rewards for the mining fee, small mining fee. Mm -hmm. And the uh, model submitter mm -hmm. who, you know, develop AI model uh, can be paid by you know some uh, um, D apps developer calls this model, mm -hmm. so each model they compete within each other. Oh, okay. You know, so and the D app developers will choose whichever model comes first. So this probably the best official recognition model. Mm -hmm. This probably best you know self drive driving whatever. So develop model developers get paid by D apps mm -hmm. developers. The so DApp developers will be paid by their own uh, business model. You oh, know? okay, okay. Yes. So the model developers, they set mm -hmm. up their mm -hmm. own model, and then DApp developers choose between the models. Yes. And the users choose the DApps based on your platform or the model. Yes. Oh, so it's like a market system that everybody... It, it, it comes with a market <laughs> mechanism. Yeah, <laughs> but we won't call that a market system. Yeah, it, it's just a behavior like a market. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you have any local developments here in Korea? Uh, not yet, not yet. <laughs> we are just uh, building up our uh, marketing team uh -huh. right now and uh, hiring the marketing manager, <laughs> just hire. <laughs> so where are you guys uh, based in? Uh, our engineering team is uh, based in Beijing mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to uh, probably open another office in Silicon Valley pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So is the product currently live? Can uh, developers or maybe model seekers uh, log into your platform? Uh, now, yeah, it's still under development. As well, uh, our white paper mm -hmm. um, said, we are going to uh, have a mining testnet in the Q3 in this year. Mm -hmm. And the next uh, Q1 will be the testnet. Mm -hmm. Next Q2 will be the mainnet. Mm -hmm. So end of this year, maybe, uh, people will be able to 
test the mining pool, maybe? Uh, just test uh, for the mining's, uh, mining parts, but mm -hmm. for the virtual machine part, it's going to be next, uh, next, year. Uh, next year Q1. Yes, yeah, so, it's a very big project. <laughs> Hope it works out for the best, best of you. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Chen, so thank you very much for your time. And as well as I'll be looking forward to hear from your presentation as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, sure. Do you have any thank last you. comments for our audience? Uh, last comments. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, I hope the community uh, pay more attention to the uh, AI on blockchain, uh, mm -hmm. this direction. This could be one of the uh, most uh, valuable and uh, could be very uh, revolutionary mm -hmm. things <laughs> happening. <laughs> so, once again, thank you, Mr. Chen. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. Chen, the CEO and co-founder of Cortex. Thank you.